This is your Unit 1 Lab Safety and Chemistry Concepts Review. First thing that we want to talk about is the scientific method. Um, key things to know, you should know what an independent variable is. That's going to be what changes from trial to trial. You're also going to want to know what the dependent variable is. And that's usually what we're trying to figure out, what we're trying to measure as a part of our experiment. Next up is a constant. So we want to make sure that the dependent variable is only being affected by the independent variable. To ensure this, we want everything else to remain constant. Um, so in any experiment, you want as many things to be constant as possible so that you know whenever you're collecting your data that that data is only changing because of the independent variable. Uh, a controlled experiment is an experiment that has a control. Now that seems obvious, but the thing is, whenever you have an experiment, you're trying to keep as many things constant as possible, but we can't always do that. Some things are going to change. So one of the ways that we account for that in our results is by having a control. And that's going to be something that we can compare our results to. It's going to show us what our normal response should be. So for example, if I was conducting a uh, experiment about the effect of amount of sunlight on the growth rate of plants. Um, I might want to compare my results to a plant that was under normal sunlight conditions. So if I was studying a specific plant that lives in a specific area, I might want to look at what the average amount of sunlight is for a given time of the year and compare my data to that. So I would know how strongly the effect of the sunlight amount would have on the growth rate of the plant. Another big part of uh, laboratory concepts is the data table. So the data table that we have here is the effect of temperature on the rate of plant growth. So the dependent variable is going to be the rate of plant growth. That's what we're trying to measure in this experiment. You can see here it is in this column. The independent variable is going to be temperature. That's what's changing from trial to trial. Now you might say, well, look at this. The temperature changes from here to here, and the rate of plant growth changes. So how do I know which one is which? Again, remember that dependent variable is what you're trying to measure in your experiment, what you're trying to figure out. Next up is constant. So the obvious constant in this table is the amount of water added each day in cups. You see for all of them, it's one half. But also, we want to make sure as many things as possible are constant. So we want to use the same amount of sunlight. Obviously, a plant that gets more sunlight is going to grow faster. Uh, the same type of plant. So some plants grow faster than others. Um, the plant holder, uh, a particular plant holder might be better for plant growth. We want to make sure we use the same soil, uh, carbon dioxide level. We want as many things as possible to be constant. Uh, a question that the students could be trying to answer if they were doing this experiment. It's a good idea just to look at the title of the graph. You're trying to see what effect temperature has on the rate of plant growth. So basically if you can take that title and put it into a sentence, that's going to be the question they are trying to answer. So measuring in units. Uh, you want to use a scale to measure out a solid. And there it is. It's what a scale looks like, an electronic scale there. To measure out a liquid, you want to use a graduated cylinder generally. You just want to make sure that it can measure out the correct volume that you want. So obviously it won't do me much good to try to measure out 100 milliliters with a graduated cylinder that only goes up to 50. So that's the end of Unit 1. It's just a short little unit there. Uh, here are some key idea, ideas. Um, one, you need to understand how to read a data table. You need to read the title and read each column heading. As you are reading it, it helps sometimes to try to picture how the experiment was done. If you're able to look at the data table and understand what experiment was performed, then you're going to be in good shape for your comprehension as far as how the table is set up and what data it contains. You also need to know the difference between a constant 
and a control. This is one of the most common mistakes that people make. It happens all the time. If you're not sure what these two words are, what the difference is, go ahead and scoot back a bit in this uh, video recording and go ahead and refresh yourself on the difference between those two. Also, you want to make sure you choose the right piece of lab equipment for the job. So sometimes this seems obvious, but again, a lot of these questions are multiple choice questions, and usually the one that you think is the most obvious answer usually might not be. You know, you have to go back and make sure that you're choosing the right piece of lab equipment for the job. So that's it for Unit 1. Stay tuned for Unit 2.